the Netherlands and Australia are quite literally a world apart. The Netherlands is known for its windmills, cycling, and is home to the tallest men on Earth. Hello. Wait, wouldn't that mean it has the largest bicycles on Earth? While the land down under, a place of wild beauty, is best known for its kangaroos, beach barbecues, and coral reefs. So what do these two vastly different countries have in common? Both Australia and the Netherlands have implemented changes to their national cervical cancer screening programs to further reduce cervical cancer rates in their countries. Both countries have decided to switch from PAP to HPV primary screening to detect the virus that causes cervical cancer. Why have they decided to do that? Did you know that one in three women diagnosed with cervical cancer had a normal PAP result? These women received results telling them they were safe, but they still developed cervical cancer. Were they truly safe or was something missed? Was this a false negative result? Wait. We are getting ahead of ourselves. Let's go back to the 1920s. In 1928, a very clever man, Dr. Georgius Papanikolaou, discovered that by looking through a microscope, it was possible to identify abnormal cervical cells which could develop into cancer. Looking for these abnormal cells is kind of like searching for a needle in a haystack. They can be pretty hard to find. And for the pap smear, most of the time, there aren't any abnormal cells. So finding them, when you don't know if they will be there or not, can be pretty challenging, even for the best pap slide readers. Which is why one in three women received a normal test result, even though they went on to develop cervical cancer. More recently, scientific research has shown that HPV is the cause of more than 99% of cervical cancers. Detecting HPV DNA in cervical cells has now proven itself to be a very useful tool to identify women who are at high risk of developing cervical cancer. With the Roche-Cobas HPV test, you look for the cause of the disease by identifying the DNA of the virus. But making cervical cancer screening more reliable does not only depend on a better test, it also relies on the introduction of sophisticated automation that can reliably detect the presence or absence of DNA from the HPV virus. This standardizes the procedure, reduces the number of human errors, and delivers more accurate results with confidence. Confidence in an HPV test result starts with ensuring a quality sample was collected. For example, are there enough cells in the sample? How do we ensure the sample collected has quality DNA if we cannot confirm this with the naked eye? The system testing for HPV DNA must be able to ensure that each sample has sufficient quantity of cells and quality of DNA to be sure a negative result can be trusted. A woman needs confidence that a negative result is really negative to know she is safe. That's why the COBOS HPV test confirms that there are enough cells in the sample with an internal cellular check. If there is not enough DNA to have confidence in the result, an invalid result will be reported to protect the woman from the possibility of a false negative. To ensure confidence in an HPV test result, both Australia and the Netherlands determined that having an internal cellular control is a mandatory requirement. This way, women can be reassured that their results are reliable, since there are enough cells with DNA to accurately test the sample. These countries are leading the way by implementing primary screening for more accurate detection of the cause of cervical cancer. This is one of the many reasons why Australia and the Netherlands have implemented the Roche-Cobas HPV test in their nationwide cervical cancer screening programs. Earlier detection saves lives. With proper screening, vaccination, and treatment, cervical cancer is highly preventable, but prevention starts with accurate results. How do we reduce the number of worldwide deaths happening today? We can follow the Netherlands and Australia by implementing HPV DNA testing as part of all cervical cancer screening programs to better protect women worldwide and improve cervical cancer prevention. Women deserve better, and no woman should die from cervical cancer. Tell your friends and loved ones about HPV DNA screening 